All right, problem five, we have for T between zero and 24 hours, the temperature inside a refrigerator in a kitchen is given by the function W that satisfies the differential equation. DW dt is equal to three cosine of T over two W and W of T is measured in degrees Celsius and T is measured in hours. At time T equals zero hours, the temperature inside the refriger refrigerator is three degrees Celsius. For any equation for the line tangent to the graph of y equals w of t at the point where t equals zero. Use the equation to approximate the temperature inside the refrigerator at t equals 0 0.4 hour. Okay, so um, what, you're, well, what we're going to essentially do, what we can do is you un re first recognize that we can write an equation of a line or, or a linear equation in the y equals mx plus b form. <clears throat> and the m is the slope of the line, and the slope of the line is going to be the derivative at that point. So since we're trying to find the point at t equals 0, what we find the slope, or dw dt, for t equals 0. And then that will be that we'll have three cosine of zero, or the cosine of zero is one, so three times one, over two times w. And we're told that w of t is gonna be, let's see what it is. Oh yeah, w, it, that, the w is you know, the temperature, and at t equals zero hours, the temperature is three degrees. So this will be over two w or two times three. And the slope will then be one half. And so we can furthermore write, an write our equation as y equals one half x plus b. So we just have to find the y-intercept at that point, zero, three, and we just plug those values in and solve. So we get we get um three one half times zero, that goes away. So three is our y-intercept y intercept b. So our equation for our tangent line is y equals one half x plus three. <clears throat> and then so using this equation to estimate the value of the temperature at t equals 0.4 hours, we just plug in 0.4 into this equation. So, and again, I should be writing x equals t, our variable should be t. I'm just so used to writing x. So when t equals 0.4, the temperature or W of 0.4 is equal to one half times 0.4 plus three, which will be 3.2. So 3.2 degrees Celsius is our answer. <clears throat> All right, part B. We have to now find the equation for y equals w of t, which is the particular solution to the differential equation with initial condition w of zero equals three. Okay, so we really just have to um, make sure that we have our integration, you know, mastered. And this is gonna be, you know, integrating a differential equation or using separation of variables. So let's bring the t's to the right and the w's to the left. So what we'll have is 2w is equal to 3 cosine of t dt. And since we now have our variables on opposite sides of the equation, oh, I forgot the dw, whoops. We can now throw an integral operator and integrate each side. So we get on the left, what well, battery is dying. Um, you get 2w squared over 2, which 2 is cancel, is equal to 3 sine of t plus our constant, c1. So let's find the value of that constant. And let's first, you know, solve for w. w will just be then the square root of 3 sine of t plus c1. Since we were told W of zero equals three, 
we use this to solve for C1. So that means that it means essentially three is equal to the square root of three times the sine of zero. The sine of zero is zero. So three is the square root of C1 essentially. So C1 is then just nine. Our constant is just nine. So then we can write our final solution for, for Y or, our, or WT, whatever, whichever way you want to think of it as being equal to the square root of three sine of t plus nine. Battery's dying. Let's see if I can beat it. Only one more part left, all right. Part C, we're told the temperature in the kitchen remains constant at 20 degrees Celsius for t between zero and 24. And the cost of operating the refrigerator accumulates at the rate of 0 0.001 dollars per hour for each degree that the temperature in the kitchen exceeds the temperature inside the refrigerator. Right, but, but do not evaluate an, an expression involving an integral that can be used to find the cost of operating the temperature or operating the refrigerator for a 24 hour interval. Okay, so since we're looking for, um, um, we essentially want, we essentially want to find how many hours um, does the temperature inside a refrigerator, or the, no, we're looking at how many hours does the temperature in the kitchen exceed the temperature inside a refrigerator? So, you know, to find that, since temperature is the, um, since 20 is the temperature in the kitchen, we just do 20 minus W of T, that would give us um, values, or I guess, you know, quant times, or yeah, you know, values for, or the values of the temperature when they're more than 20. Because, you know, it's just a difference. Now, since we're looking for all the hours or all the periods of time from zero to 24 hours, we would take the integral from zero to 20 of this expression. And whatever this expression is, gives us the total number of hours or the total length of time in hours. So we would get some number, right? Maybe it's seven, maybe it's 7.1. And then we would multiply that number by this. So it would just be 0 0.001 times that. And all this would be in dollars, right? Because again, that's our unit, that's our unit of measurement. T is, T is hours and D is, or we're told that we're given, or we're given a dollar symbol. <laughs> Um, that's really much, that's pretty much it. There's one way to write that, write the answer, but this is probably the most simplest. Just again, remember, it's just a difference between those two temperatures. So I hope that helps, but any feedback, um, feel free to let me know, but good luck.